It was the afternoon of May 14, 1973, when the unmanned Skylab Saturn workshop was hurled aloft at Cape Kennedy on the way to its assigned orbit, 236 nautical miles in space. The cloud cover was heavy on launch day and prevented tracking cameras from seeing an event that occurred about one minute into the mission. At the point of maximum vibration, telemetry sensed premature deployment of the meteor shield followed by a weak electrical signal from the workshop solar arrays. Clearly, there had been a problem. But the exact nature wasn't known until after orbital insertion. During the first revolution, Skylab's temperatures began to rise rapidly and pieces of the puzzle started to fall into place. NASA engineers surmised that the anomalies were most likely related. It was felt that the meteor shield had been completely lost at deployment, which accounted for the high heat levels. Also, that fragments of the meteor shield had jammed or otherwise hindered full deployment of the solar array panels. Failure of these panels, which were designed to furnish about half of Skylab's electrical power, meant that the total power burden would have to be borne by solar panels on the Apollo telescope mount. By early evening, workshop temperatures had risen above the level of safety. Launching of the crew the following day received an indefinite hold pending satisfactory solutions. Flight support and engineering teams were immediately set in motion to find the answers. At stake was the future of the entire Skylab program.